Hi everybody and welcome to my very first flip through. I wanted to share with you how my September Coco Daisy um, planner setup came along. Um, this is the second planner that I used this month. I started off with my Webster's Pages hot pink vegan suede planner but decided that as it started, well, I was going to say as it started getting cooler, but it really didn't get cooler yet. But as it started getting closer to fall, I decided to go with this brown ochre Malden Filofax um, personal rings folder. So this is what I ended up going with. And the first thing I wanted to share is this planner band that I made that I just really love. This is one of my favorite Coco Daisy um, Fern You Swags. And it just went so well with the Coco Daisy September kit. So I just attached it to a piece of ribbon and just slide it right on the end of the um, inside pocket. And it just looks really pretty on the front of the planner. So that decorated that part of the planner for the second half of the month that I used it. Um, I'm still getting used to these sideways pockets on the Malden, but was able to stick a few die cuts in a couple of clips in there that I might need along with this cute little um, owl charm from Calibri Charms and I don't know if you can see but I had added some charms onto this chain here and have this attached to my weekly page as well with some of the Calibri Charms. Um, so my dashboard was pretty simple. I used one of the dashboards from the kit. Um, I added some die cuts and I put some um, foam adhesive behind them to give them a bit of a pop. I really like a lot of texture and dimension in my planners. Um, I also went with some white trim this month, so every one of my dividers has a different white trim, and you can see that there. Um, here's a little bow clip that I made using some of the washi. It's gotten a little bit flattened out here, but I just folded over the wide washi and um, stapled the little piece in the middle and added the little dot to it. So I kept that on top of this one. So the first section that I have is my monthly section and um, I started off with my goals. So this was my goal page. Everything in here is from the kit except I did add these really pretty gold um, thicker stickers and I wrote my goals on these hexagon stickers. Pretty proud of myself, I just have one more goal to make and we still have a few days left of September, so that should work. Um, here is the introductor, introductory divider for my September calendar section. Um, I originally started off the month trying to do my health and wellness and water tracker on these pages. These came from, I believe, the dory and I think I took them out and cut them down to size. I added some of the Hobonichi Week stickers here and used an old stamp that I had but you know you can kind of see that that didn't really work out so well. Worked out the first week although I didn't really drink as much water as I should have um, but I switched to a different method later on in the month. Here's my monthly calendar. I used this cute little um, for a new clip to help me find that. Um, I just love how the Coco Daisy calendars already come so decorated and they look so pretty so they don't even need a whole lot of more embellishment but I put some stickers on and some extra washi just for color. Um, this back page I kind of never really knew what I wanted to do with it but it came in handy for a couple of things that I needed to write ahead for what was going to be going on next month so um, I am liking that page. This is my September challenge page. What I did was printed off the um, image of the planner challenge and then I um, adhered it to another one of those um, dory pages that I had cut out and sized down. Um, I added some stickers and some washi and then I highlight the ones that I do as I go through. And I love having this page in my planner because it really helps me stay on top of the challenges. I don't have to go searching for them anywhere. I know what's coming up. I can kind of plan my challenges out that way and it's just really pretty too. It's just such a cute little design. Um, here is the bookmark that we got as a freebie and I just love it so I punched the holes in it and added it here. Um, I use this adorable little I'd rather be reading um, owl guy as my weekly divider. 
Um, I used the tabs and I just like to staple them on. I like, again, the texture that the staple adds to it. Um, you can see some more trim. This month I put them on the back of the insert. Sometimes I put them on the front. Um, so my weekly dividers, I wasn't so sure about the back pages being blank when I first started getting these, but this might be one of my favorite things because I am able to sort of write some weekly goals and then I have my, um, you know, my, my weekly calendar here and it just works out perfectly. I sit down on Sundays and plan and I usually fill out, um, you know, like appointments that I have, but then I'll also sort of make my lists here that are my overall weeks. Um, this week I used a date stamp with the stickers and I really like how that looked. Um, and then a couple of my weekly inserts you'll see, I used, um, this was actually some packaging, but I use a card or some packaging and I turn that into Saturday and Sunday because it gives me more room to write, especially if I have a lot going on that specific weekend. And then I covered up the Saturday and Sunday days down here and just made this sort of a general checklist for the weekend as well. So it gives me some extra um, writing space for the weekends that usually end up being busier anyway. Again, here's my goal list. Um, this was Labor Day week. I used, um, again, another piece of the pages from the Dory. I added stickers to make that for the weekend. So that was really helpful. Um, I love this little owl. He's so cute. Um, this one, I ended up not putting the insert because I knew I wasn't going to have a super busy weekend. So I used the weekend sticker. I used a lot of stickers on this one. And here you can see I started using the hydrate stickers. Um, they're just a lot more manageable for me. I'm still not quite hitting that eight cups of water a day, but you know, I think I'm getting there and having to be held accountable to it has been really helpful too. So I love those stickers. I love this sticker too, the one that says smile, your big box of happy is here. That was the day that I got um, my October kit, I guess it was. Um, now I put my hydrate sticker on this, you know, sort of weekly overall um, page and have my goals here, write down my exercise, which is woefully inadequate, but at least I'm doing something. So I use that page for that as well. This was um, the week before last, and I kind of wanted to, at this point, make it look a little bit different, so I stuck with some more greens. I found some stickers that had greens in them, used the green washi, um, and I also used all of the stamps that came with the planner kit and used all the little birds and made this more of a stamped um, week, and I just love how that turned out. These birds are so stinking cute. Um, and then this week, I used um, all die cuts to decorate my week. So these were all from the die cuts that came in the pack and I just use a glue stick and they stay in great. I like that they're different sizes. They're a little bit bigger than the regular stickers. So it gives more of an image and like I love how this one looks. I put the little bird on top. Um, so I really was happy with how that turned out. Um, I use, again, here's another um, white trim that I added to the back for the section of my meal planning. I use my weekly pages for that and that's been working out really well. I love these weekly pages. Um, I try to list maybe a couple of meals that I might want to make. I don't necessarily plan all my meals out. Um, I more or less will put down what I want to make or what I had like maybe a day at a time um, but it's really sort of helped me keep track of what I've been eating. Again, so I have like what I want to make, what I did make. I put the circle stickers on there. That works out really well. And here's this week I've been using this pink flower to keep track of that. And then my next section had another piece of lace. This is my daily gratitude section. Um, I had started off using the circle dots, the circle date um, stickers, but then ended ended up using them on my um, weekly meal pages. So then I started using the numbers that came with the Hobonichi weeks. And can't say I have a preference for one or the other, um, but it's been helpful. I'm pretty much staying on top of um, my gratitude journal. Doing it this way, it's pretty quick and easy. And then my last section, um, I found some white pom-pom trim. And this is just sort of for notes. I have a few of the weekly to-do pages back here. Um, this is more of a budgeting one, and then I keep extra pages um, 
to make weekly or daily to-do lists if I need them or if I need um, to have some extra note paper to use. So that's pretty much it. This was just something I had found when I was cleaning out my um, scrap room closet and I loved it so much I just wanted to tuck it in there with some grid paper. I finally, I just take some of the notebook paper and stick it in the back pocket so I always have something extra to write. Um, and I usually use my little sticky note guy here. I had made him earlier in the month with three of the sticky note coffee cups and then a couple of the die cuts. I just glued them on white paper and laminated it through. So that is how my September looked. I'm thinking that October is going to be pretty similar because um, this is my personal calendar and these are the sections that I use for my personal um, kinds of things. So it's worked out really well and I'm thinking my October one will be pretty similar. So thanks so much for taking a peek and have a great day. Bye.